Alright, just a quick video here that might be of interest to those of you who have an Omega 1200 of Revision 1A. Now, uh, I'm already done working on this motherboard. It had a video problem, so I had to replace this video deck. But uh, the video is working fine now again, so no problem there. Uh, however, I went into ProTrack in order to try it out, and I noticed something else about it. I noticed that as I was playing back a song in ProTracker, the audio that uh, was coming out from my TV was distorting. I will show you what I mean here. Okay, first of all, here I have this motherboard hooked up. This is not the same one, this is Revision 1D. And when I'm playing back a song in ProTracker using this motherboard, the sound is not distorting in my TV. So uh, let's uh, do a comparison here. So I'm gonna start with this motherboard, I'm gonna use the same setup, the same song in ProTracker, same volume on the TV, everything exactly the same. Let's just do a quick comparison and then um, I'm sure you will understand what I mean here. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So here I'm playing back a 100Hz sine wave in ProTracker. The volume is at full there. Okay, so let's uh, check the scope. And by the way, I'm probing here uh, right at the output of this RCA jack, and this is uh, revision 1D. Okay, so this is the motherboard that is not distorting. So uh, here on the scope we're getting, uh, of course, a sine output of, uh, well, let's see, the scope is set to uh, 200 millivolts per division, so well, around 600 millivolts there, peak to peak. And same thing again here, 100 hertz sine wave, full volume there on that slide bar, and I have a probe sitting at the right RCA jack, and this is revision 1A. So let's take a look at the scope. And oh my god, that's just coming straight off the scale. And um, uh, let's take a look and see how much this is. Uh, so, okay, 1 volt per division, and uh, let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3 and a half volts uh, peak to peak or something like that and that's uh, quite a big difference compared to uh, the other motherboard where we had uh, 600 millivolts peak to peak so yeah quite a difference now the only thing that is doing any kind of amplification in the audio filter circuit is this op amp chip so here I'm probing uh, this output here and this is revision 1A and I'm still playing back the same sine wave in ProTracker so uh, let's take a look at the scope and uh, I have the scope set to uh, 2 volts per division now. So uh, this is around 10 volts peak to peak. And there we can see that it's dipping down into the negative. You know, that line there, that is uh, 0 volts. And uh, well, that negative voltage would be around 2.2 uh, .2 volts. Or, well, something like that. Uh, and I don't think that's really that good because that means that uh, this AC coupling cap here you know, if we probe this positive terminal here, of this cap, right there, that is um, being a little bit uh, reversed biased there. You know, we can see that it's dipping down into the negative there as well. And that is because uh, the amplitude of this uh, signal is uh, really high. So the swing is, really, you know, has a really high amplitude which makes it go down into the negative area and then um, that will uh, make the um, capacitor uh, be reversed biased there. Uh, so, um, hmm, not that good. I mean, 2.2 volts reversed biased, that's not that good. A little bit too much, I think. Um, so, uh, I think the gain here, 
the gain of this op amp is set too high, I think. Uh, I don't th really think that's um, very good. So let's you know let's compare with the other motherboard and see uh, if we get any difference. And again, this is exactly the same thing. I'm just doing it on the other motherboard now. So this is the motherboard that has Revision 1D, and uh, I still have the same sine wave running in ProTracker. So uh, let's take a look here. And that is much better, much, much better. Now, that um, swing there is not dipping down into the negative. It's uh, only on the positive side, so that's great. And uh, if we take a look here at um, this uh, capacitor, the positive terminal there, and the capacitor is not getting reversed biased at all. So, good for the cap. <laughs> So okay, um, I think that um, the gain is set a little bit too high on that op amp uh, that is um, on the other motherboard. Here's the schematic for Amiga 1200 and this is the audio filter section and we were probing the output of this op amp just now. Now what's controlling the gain of this op amp is this feedback resistor going to the inverting input of this op amp. So uh, let's uh, measure this resistor on uh, both motherboards and see if we're getting a reading of 1.5 kilo ohms. Here's the motherboard again with Revision 1A. Now actually it's a bit difficult to probe this while holding the camera so uh, I'm not gonna do that but I did probe it and um, to start with here's the output of that op amp and here's the input and here's the non-inverting input so we got one op amp there one op amp here on this side also so this is uh, for one channel and this is for the other channel Okay, and um, probing here, the output here and the inverting input, probing those two pins and checking resistance would uh, give us a reading of uh, 1.5 kilo ohms according to the schematic. And uh, actually that is this resistor here and um, that is also what I got when I measured. And we can even see that here, you know, this resistor, I don't know if you can see it, but it says 152. So that means uh, 1500 ohms, which is 1.5 kilo ohms. Um, and it's the same thing here, probing the output here and uh, the inverting input here. That uh, would also give us the same reading and that is also what I got. And that is this resistor here and it also says uh, 152. So uh, that is um, what is in there. Now let's uh, take a look at the other motherboard and see uh, if we have the same resistors on the board. And we do not. I checked it with a meter. So uh, here is revision 1D again, and uh, it's the same thing, op amp chip here. Output inverting input, non inverting input, minus 12 volt supply, output inverting input, non inverting input, and this op amp would probably be for this channel, and uh, this op amp would uh, be for uh, this channel. So let's take a look at um, the resistors here. I don't know if you can see it, but it says uh, 681 here on this one. And this one also says 681. And indeed, I got a reading of 680 ohms on both of them. So, uh, yeah, different values of resistors. Back to Vision 1A again. You know what I think? I think the engineers at Commodore decided to uh, configure these op amps to have a gain that is quite high. And uh, that might not be that good because uh, not only will uh, the audio coming out from these two RCA jacks have an amplitude that might drive some TVs into distortion, you know, because uh, that might be um, outside the operating range of the amplifiers in the TVs. Um, so not only that, but also these two AC coupling caps here, this one and this one, they um, are um, getting a little bit reversed biased sometimes you know we could see that on the scope that uh, the swing okay it got under the zero volts line there on the scope so they're getting a bit reversed biased uh, when the amplitude uh, of the signal is that high and that is because uh, this op amp is configured to have a gain uh, that high so that's really not that good and I think that Commodore realized uh, their mistake uh, later, so they rectified that on uh, later versions of the motherboard. And here, I took a look in my drawer, and what do I have here? Two small resistors that says 681. Okay, so that would be 680 ohms. And about what I'm planning on doing here, well, I don't really think I need to explain that any further.
And here we have the 1.5k resistors that came out from the motherboard. And the other ones are of course in there. Here we have one. And there is the other one. Okay, so let's turn on the scope and have another look at it. And of course, same thing again, just as before, 100 hertz sine wave, full volume there on the slide bar. And I'm probing this point here, the output of that op amp. So let's take a look here. And uh, that looks a lot better, I think. Now, uh, the swing is only on the positive side. The scope is uh, set to 2 volts per division still. So, uh, okay, let's take a look at this um, AC coupling cap here, positive terminal and yeah looks a lot better let me change the uh, volts per division to a 1 volt per division here okay 1 volt per division I'm still probing that capacitor and it looks like this and if I go back to uh, the output of that op amp it looks like this at 1 volt per division and now let's uh, check uh, the output here right at the RCA jack and that looks a lot better than it did before. Now it's not crazily high in amplitude. So yeah, much better. Now then, with the new resistors in place there, let's have another listen and see if the sound is still distorting on my TV. So here we go. So I guess that's it for this video. You know, just wanted to point out here that if you have an Amiga 1200 motherboard, Revision 1A, it might be a good idea to have a look at these two resistors here that have 152 written on them, this one and this one. And you might want to consider replacing those with other ones that have a value of 680 ohms instead, because doing so will increase the feedback going to the emerging inputs of these two op amps here which will lower the amplitude of the audio coming out from these two RCA jacks. And that will reduce the risk of having problems with the distortion going on in your audio amplification system, whether it's a TV or a surround receiver or whatever, audio amplifier as audio amplifier. Now, of course, it will depend on the operating range of your amplifier. And, you know, some amplifiers might be a little bit more tolerant than others when it comes to this kind of thing. But uh, generally speaking, if the audio source that is to be amplified has an amplitude that is too high, uh, that might drive the amplifier into distortion. And uh, replacing these two uh, resistors will certainly assist in avoiding that problem and um, it might also be a little bit more friendly to these two AC coupling caps if the audio is uh, not dipping down into the negative at the positive terminals and uh, that is just what I wanted to uh, say here in this video uh, thanks for stopping by and um, see you later now the audio is not distorting anymore it sounds much better than before feel free to leave a comment in the comment section See you again soon.